So we've had a lot of good restaurant news in Wilmington, and this may be the best that we've had yet. Um, for those of you who don't know, the James Beard Awards are basically the Academy Awards uh, of culinary things. It's the it is it is it is the the top one of the top honors you can get in the restaurant world, and uh, we believe for the first time, a Wilmington restaurant has been nominated uh, as the as the top new restaurant in the country. You need to get that a drum roll. Is that yeah? You no, I know, I know, I know. I don't think I have a drum there. roll here. But, <laughs> but, but this is, there are only thirty restaurants in the country that are that are nominated here, nice. and and our very own Bardeo, which we featured on the show before, is one of them. And very special guests in the studio today, joining us are Antimo Chef Antimo De Mayo and Scott Stein, who is the restaurateur. Which I can't say that word, restaurant <laughs> tour. But anyway, so th welcome to the Wilmington Show, guys. Thank you, for and, and congratulations. This, this is a huge, yeah. huge thank deal. You. Thank you, thank you. And we just discovered a crazy thing just a second ago when we were getting ready for this. That when when my wife and I were on our honeymoon in the Amalfi Coast, we went to the restaurant that you had your your yep. training at, the yep, two, Michelin two Michelin Star restaurant. Two Michelin Star restaurant. Yep, absolutely. Right. Yeah, that is yeah. awesome. <laughs> what a small world. And right? you were probably working there when we were there. Probably, if it, it wasn't that time frame, absolutely, it all, yeah. yeah. It all, <laughs> it all comes together. together. Well, yeah. I, I just remember there was a red pepper ice cream. Red pepper, set, yep, gelato, yep, I, I was there for that then. <laughs> you want another one? Yeah. Okay, we go, go get you one after. Well, that it was, was a, a little, starting course. It, it, it was, was like, an, like a moose bouche. Yeah, moose bouche, exactly, <laughs> it was. Okay, well, well so congratulations, Thank so, you. yeah. Yeah, okay, um, you guys have Wilmington, you're setting Wilmington on fire. You know, I ride through Market Street, Zach, and I'm like, wait, man, we get, they got valet parking? Like, what, like you guys are doing the, doing and how we say the damn thing. So congratulations on it. Thank you. How did you two hook up? How did you guys come about? Well, we met probably uh, seven or eight years ago, and we instantly just connected. We said, you know, just, you know, we just had a small talk over coffee, right. and uh, we were introduced uh, mutually. And uh, ever since, we've been together working, and we kind of, you know, set out that we had some dreams to accomplish, and uh, right. look what, it, what ended up happening. Yeah. 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 And, 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 I mean, Bardet is fantastic. Thank you. I have, uh, uh, I went there, I, I first, the first time tried the pizza mm -hmm. on the day after Valentine's Day, and the pizza reminds me of pizza in Italy. It's actually the only pizza I've had anywhere around here that, because Italian pizza is a different kind of experience. Yes, absolutely. And what you have over there is very authentic. Mm -hmm. It feels exactly right, so. I gotta thank try that. Thank I gotta you. try thank it. You. Oh yeah, you'll, you'll like it. My wife went to Italy um, this summer, last summer, and she's like, oh, it's the pizza's totally different. So I, it is it different. Is. And, it is very yeah. different. And the yeah. Brianna came in here and she was talking about your pizza and, yeah. and it was like saying you have the best pizza in De in Delaware. Yeah. yeah. So I That's definitely awesome. gotta come, I gotta That's check awesome. that out. Yeah, so sure. the, um, you got the award. How does that feel? Well, not the award. Not the award, no. Yeah. The nomination. The nomination. The nomination. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward. Looking, I had it. We're uh, happy just to be nominated. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's how we felt. We, we were just so humbled. We were just shocked that, you know, we weren't, we wasn't even on our radar. Right, right. Um, even when I got the email, I didn't even think to open it. Right. So that's you, how. You thought it was like a like a marketing email or something. Yeah, I'm part of the uh, James Beard Foundation email list, so I right. got the email earlier in the day. You archive and, it every time. Yeah, and I just like I was driving down. I want, don't want to open up an email while I'm driving, of course. And all of a sudden, my phone started blowing up. And ironically, we were at the James Beard house six years ago, cooking underneath Jay Caputo, who nice. was a uh, another Delaware uh, chef that's had some great uh, success. And he took us in the kitchen, and we just kind of got to experience what 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 that house means, and and uh, it was an amazing experience for two of us. And we kind of both looked at each other. This is where we want to go, and this is a dream of ours. And we always had this little saying, "Beard or bust," kept us going <laughs> through all the years, which is ironic. Six years ago, almost to the day that we were in the kitchen with Jay, he was the one that called us right. and broke the news to us on the ride down and that's that's how we found out we were nominated. Nice. So what what do you attribute the success to? Like what's Bardea's thing? Like if you what's your what, what what's Bardea about? I think the biggest thing is we like to push the boundaries when it comes to anything whether it's food, mm -hmm. cocktails, drinks, we kind of like to be unique in our own different way. You mm -hmm. know, when we first opened it was all about being an Italian restaurant, Italian restaurant. And you know, we kind of took a step back because we didn't want to be looked at as like, you know, an 
an Italian American restaurant that serves your prototypical, you know, meatballs and sauce and yeah. eggplant parms, uh, chicken your parms. Are good, but Thank you. <laughs> quintessential red sauce gravy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. So we wanted to kind of we, we that's exactly what we didn't want to be. Okay. And then honestly, within the first couple weeks, you know, we came in with certain expectations, and right. honestly, we kind of blew those expectations out of the water within the first month. The nice. menu started to evolve. Uh, I mean, if you look, we sometimes we just for fun we look at our opening day menu, and we're only five months young. But our opening day menu compared to today, it's a complete evolution. And, and, and that's the thing: five months in, you guys are rocking it. They're, they're like rocking it. Always a packed house, even on crazy days such as Mondays and Tuesdays. Yep. You when when uh, the rest of the city is you know winding down, it's like you guys are just getting started. Yeah, absolutely. Now I uh, I also have to say just for the seltzer drinkers in the in the world, mm -hmm. <laughs> myself being among the leadership of them, I probably the president. Drink, the drink. president. The fact that you guys offer seltzer, you know, the, uh, uh, sparkling water mm -hmm. as, a, as a main thing, yeah. and that you cut your limes correctly. I, I just have it. to say that the limes yeah. being cut correctly is a big thing for me, and I appreciate that. Absolutely. It's the smallest thing. The food is also obviously tremendous, but I just, we talk about the limes a lot on this show. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't drink <laughs> yeah. other than, gotcha. and you guys do it well. Okay, so I'm going to go <laughs> so by it tonight. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, no, but I have, I have one other thing. So the restaurant I used to work at, was a team service restaurant. Is that, I'm, just to get a sense of the service there, it, um, are the, maybe this is too nerdy. I like, I wanna talk about like, like how you guys do that, because I think the service there is really great, mm -hmm. um, but it's different than what you normally get. Well, a big thing that we've, we, we, you know, we talk day in, day, every morning, every night before we get into, you know, uh, this crazy operation every day. And, Big thing that we look at is always the sports analogy. Mm -hmm. We look at leaders like Bill Belichick, Doug Peterson, and try to like take role models. Doug Peterson more than Bill Belichick. Yeah, of, course. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah, of course. But I look at people that are successful, uh, especially in the sports world, and try to see like what are they doing. And it seems like great coaches, great leaders, yeah. they don't just settle. Even though you're good, they every day you're just as good as the prior day, prior mm. game. Right. So every day we're practicing. Right. Every day we start over, we start fresh, and we don't stop. We're pushing the boundaries nice. just on a service level. And we build a culture that we're really proud of, that we, we feel that people are, they, our team is so proud that they're a part of this nomination. It's, 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 that's, that's what we uh, probably are most excited for the people that have worked day in and day out yeah. to earn this. Yeah. So what's next for the James Beard nomination? March 27th. That's it. We're we hear find if out we, the next we, round. Yeah, we'll see if we, we get to the next round. We'll yeah. see. Okay, you know. sweet. And how, do you know how many are in the next round? Five. Oh, y'all got that. Five. That's, yeah. it, man. Yeah, That's it, man. That's it, man. Final five. Real, real, real quick, um, what's your signature? What's, what's your favorite dish? Yeah, yeah. What's your? Ooh, mm -hmm. my favorite dish. That is such a tough question. <laughs> See, that, that is a tough question. Good answer. Yeah. Right? No, I mean, I always, anytime we do a new dish, uh, a big thing that we like to push into the kitchen or even in the front of house, we always ask everybody, is it good or is it great? Like, mm -hmm. I always like to have a menu full of great options. Like, I don't want something to just, you take a bite of it and you just kind of be like, it's good. I want right. it to be wowed. I want it to be like a burst of flavor nice. that I can tell you're you. gonna remember, you know? Yeah. And I feel like uh, kind of taking it back to what I was saying before, our very first thing that we put on the menu that really allowed this, that opened our eyes to what people here are willing to eat was our ribeye. And our ribeye, mm -hmm. since we put it on the menu, has just kind of taken off. And that was the mm -hmm. first thing that we were like, we opened our eyes to the possibilities, the endless possibilities right. of everything else that we could do. I'll need to try the ribeye. Now, the one thing, uh, this, uh, I heard a funny story. You can confirm whether it's true or not. Mm -hmm. But the nudie that you guys have. Yes. The now, yes. now the, it was, they're called nudie. Oh, yes. It means okay. naked, yeah. like in oh, Italian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you see the face, the eyes, the one <laughs> but, but, but you guys, you had it on the menu and yes. nobody was ordering it. This is what I Correct. understand. One, yeah. The first, like, what, oh, one yeah. person ordered because they didn't know what it was Correct. and they didn't want it, right? Correct. So you called it gnocchi, yes. which it is not gnocchi. Correct. But Close. I would say yeah. it's the most special thing I've yet tasted on the menu. Thank um, you. And, and my wife as well. And we're foodies, like, we're crazy. But uh, just really amazing dish. Thank you. Now, so. we love, I mean, to kind of answer your question, my favorite dishes would definitely be the remastered classics, like our caju e peve, for example. That's a 100-year-old recipe, mm -hmm. and we just kind of put our own little twist to it. The right. same thing with uh, the gnocchi, the nudie. You're getting uh, them hungry, man. You know? <laughs> it's so, right so, all right, all right. You're so, the whole show up. So, so uh, 
Once again, congratulations. Thank you. James Beard uh, nominated one of 30 restaurants in the country, nominated for Best New Restaurant. Thank you guys for coming to the Wilmington Show. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any positive stories that Zach and myself need to talk about, be sure to submit it at stories.wilmington.love.